Hey guys, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. This video is going to be all about vibra screeds or power screeds. Let me know down in the comments what you guys call these. I want to know what you guys like to call them. So what I'm going to talk about is, you know, like this, this new battery operated uh, vibra screed from Screed Demon, MBW, and then the Marshalltown Shockwave, and then some other ones I've used in the past. So we'll talk all about should you get one? Uh, do you need one? Do I like using them? What do I like about them? What don't I like about them? Things like that. I use them mostly for residential work, some light commercial work. I don't do the big commercial jobs like I used to, um, although we did use these on big commercial jobs back in the day, but now it's mostly just for residential use. This is the Shockwave right here from Marshalltown. This is a really good one. Uh, we've used this on a lot of floors. It works really good as you can see right there it's screeding that floor down nice and easy this is the screed demon from mbw it's their new battery operated one they use a milwaukee battery in this and that works really good too we we've just started using this one so i've only got a couple floors under it so the feedback i can give you is just limited to what i've used it for but for what we've used it for so far, we really like it. It's probably the lightest one I've ever used. It's got a little less vibration than the gas-powered ones, but it still gets the job done. You know, on, on concrete, that's a five, six, or seven slump. It's going gonna, it's gonna to screed it really easy. This is the Screed Demon from MBW's gas-powered one. We've used this on a lot of floors, and this thing works really nice. It's really lightweight. Um, I like the handle setup on it. It's comfortable for your wrists. It's got a little trigger for the throttle on your for your right hand, so that works really well. This is one I used in the past. This is one of the first ones. It's a Vibra Strike. The one thing, this worked good. I mean, I used it for a lot of floors. What I didn't like about it was the handles on it. You can see they're straight. That was pretty tough on the wrists versus this one right here, the, the Screed Demon. You can see how the handle has a little bit of curvature to it, which kind of makes it easier on the wrist. Your wrist doesn't get as tired running it. But we we screed a lot of concrete with uh, with these power screeds. You can see this is like a 4,400 square foot slab we're doing with the shock wave. And it was virtually like effortless screeding something like this with one of these. No bending over, no kicking. You know, I we grew up, me, Luke, and Darren right here, we were taught to hand screed everything and we if you've seen some of my other videos, you see us kick screeding in those videos. So you know, and if you've ever done kick screeding, you know that how hard that can be at some, sometimes. But you can see the effort Darren's putting into screeding that. I mean, there's virtually hardly any effort at all, especially if you've got a couple guys behind you that know what they're doing with the come-alongs with the rakes and raking the concrete. You can see I'm down in a basement. This is about a 2,000 square foot basement took us, you know, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to pull one of these when you've got, especially if you've got something like this to screed it with. Very comfortable. The people doing most of the work are really the rakers. The guys or the gals running the, the power screed, you know, are basically just watching the ends. See, I taught my daughter how to use this right here. Um, this is the screed demon. But she'd been, she'd been raking behind it long enough. Finally, I said, here, you do it. You're going to try it. And she did just fine. I mean, it's just a matter of giving it some throttle, watching your ends, making sure you're not digging in, making sure they're scoring, and, and just putting a light, some light pressure back on it. Then let your rakers do the rest of the work. So she ran it really good, and she's been running it ever since back to the battery powered model now and just doing a small basement floor with this one today see how smooth that leaves it. it it makes it nice and easy to bull float too when you use one of these i mean it it vibrates the aggregate down just a little bit and brings up some of the paste in the cream for you so when you go to bull float it it's basically just one pass down and back with the bull float and you're done so we've done all kinds of concrete floors and slabs with these things and most recently, the ones we've been using the most are this one right here, the Screed Demon from MBW, the battery-powered one, which we just got, and then the Shockwave from Marshalltown are the ones we've been using the most. The Vibra Strike, I haven't used that in years. 
like I said, that was one of the first ones I got. And then uh, years ago, we also used the Multivibe, which is a good one. But I haven't used that one, the newer version of that one. I mean, if some of these, if some of these companies want to send me their their power screeds, their vibratory screeds, I can try them out and review them for you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments if you like that. I can maybe contact them or they can contact me. And here we are again with the Vibra Strike. See how Luke's wrists are when he's holding that? They they just don't look that comfortable. Same with Darren right here. So I definitely like the ones that have the handles where the, the handles are either, at least the hand grips are adjustable. The handles are adjustable on all of them, but it's the hand grip part that some of them have the, the curve in them. Some of them have an adjustable hand grip, and then this one here doesn't. So after a floor, this one here, this was about a 4,000 square foot floor. After a floor like this, your wrists are kind of sore with this thing right here. And it's not because you're working hard, it's just because of the, the small vibration you're getting through them and at the angle that they're at. And again, here's a floor. You see, I'm not even holding all the way back on the handle. I'm kind of I'm kind of choking up on it a little bit, <laughs> I guess you could call it. But it, I mean, it screeds the floor fine. It's just maybe not quite as comfortable operating as some of the other ones. And you can see the bull flow right there, just down and back, nice and smooth. You can see how level that makes that floor when you really know how to run these things. We do, we do floors like every day, so we're we're pouring and screeding and finishing. Again, here's the screed demon from MBW, about a 2,000 square foot basement floor. All I really need to do when I run that thing is just I give it about half throttle. I don't try to hurry. I pull it back and and let the rakers do the rest of the work. They keep it right where it needs to be. Same with the battery one is what we found. You know, it's this one's probably five pounds lighter than the gas-powered ones. So we'll be using this a lot more in the future moving forward. I'll have links for all these down in the description too, guys, if you want to check them out. Now here we are back to that big slab. This was over a 100-yard slab that we, you know, it took about probably an hour and a half to get this poured with very, very little effort. See how smooth that leaves the surface. You're gonna run the bull float over that down and back and you're gonna be done. And then you're just waiting around to finish it. You can see right there. The Screed Demon also has the, the tapered hand grips on it. So that one's pretty comfortable to run too. Same with this one right here. I haven't found any type of, you know, fatigue in my wrist, my forearms, running these two. This one, the MBW Screed Demon, is probably just a little bit lighter than the Shockwave, a few pounds lighter. They also have that Screed board that's kind of enclosed with the rubber caps on it versus the, the Screed Demon has like the L-shaped Screed board, which I find doesn't really matter. They both work good. I didn't. I don't find a... A positive or a negative thing about either one they both kind of want to float on the surface really good at and that you know they don't necessarily want to sink in it's just a matter of I don't know they're both pretty easy to clean too so I think the board on the screed demon the screed board on the screed demon is a little bit easier to put on and off than the one on the shockwave Definitely the one on the Vibra Strike. We never even took that one off. It was kind of a pain to get on and off, so we just left it right on. If you're in the market for one of these, you know, if you kick screed concrete a lot like we used to, you know, I definitely recommend getting one, trying it. If you're wondering which one to get, I would say, you know, the MBW one is definitely a really, really good one, especially that battery one, the Screed Demon. The uh, shockwave's a good one if you if you you know if you want to try that one out. You can see I'm picking it up right here, about 35 pounds, maybe around 40 pounds, getting it out of the basement. It's really not too bad. 
And that's that's all about fiber squeeze, guys. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.